Good morning. It is Thursday, September 30th, 2021. I'm back here for Bed Talk 395. And today my phrase is holy blind spot, Batman. Yep. If you remember Batman, you know that often used phrase of holy something. And today it's holy blind spot. Yep. I know about blind spots. I know we all have them. I know I have them. And I know that just when I think I don't have them is when I especially have them. If you know me at all, you also know that I believe in the power and disempowerment of words, that words can be used to empower us and fill us up. And there's other words that hold us back, hold us down, limit us, diminish us, disempower us. I'm really a creature of words. And over the last several weeks or month, I had a blind spot. I got lost in some words and really grateful for a good friend who continued to bring it up to me in a very loving, supportive way. And yesterday, I finally got it. Yesterday, it finally hit me because over the last whatever period of time, if you had asked me about my week or my day, like what's the day your day look like tomorrow, what's your week look like? I was regularly without knowing it using one of three words, if not all of them, full, packed, crazy. So if someone would say, what's your day like tomorrow? I'd say, oh, it's just, it's another crazy day or it's a full day, or it's a packed day. And you may say, well, those words don't mean much, but see, they do, because I was putting those words and what they mean, all the meaning on those words on my day, even before it happened. And you may say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, I don't really enjoy having crazy days. I don't enjoy having crazy days, but I was telling myself ahead of time, my day was going to be crazy. So of course, what's it likely to be? Crazy. I was telling myself it's packed. So what's it like to be packed or full? And you may say, well, Jeff, those are just descriptive, but they're not because there's judgments I carry about those words. Many of us do. And that's one of the blind spots. Because if you think about this, what's wrong with those words? Well, do I want to have a full day or a fulfilled, fulfilled day? Do I want to have a packed day or a productive day? Do I want to have a crazy day or a passionate day? I know what's true for me. And I was setting up my days and weeks ahead of time with stress-filled words. Because just admit it, if you walk around saying, how was your day yesterday? It was full, packed, and crazy. Is that going to make you feel better about your day or a little stressed about your day or uncertain about your day or overwhelmed by your day? So I, it, it, I got it. It got it yesterday. I'm sure it'll take some practice, but I already caught myself a couple of times and changed my words right in the moment. So going forward, if any of you hear me talking about having full days, packed days, or crazy days, just point it out to me and just say something like, is that the word you really want to use? Because I got it and I'm taking the word away and I know it's going to lighten my day. It's going to lighten my stress. It's going to lighten my thinking. And I'm going to focus on the words that matter versus the words that I'm trying to avoid. And think about this. My mission in life is not to have full pack crazy days. That doesn't make a full life. It doesn't make a fulfilled life. It just makes for a crazy, full, packed day, week, month, and life. So that's my blind spot. Holy blind spot, Batman. So grateful for my friend who helped me to see it. And the journey is on to release those words and to never use them again. So pick up what works for you. Pick up what serves you from this. Maybe those words or similar words are holding you back from your experiences or diminishing your life or disempowering you. Whatever the case is, pay attention to your words. They mean something. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected.